While the Bear offense reflected Coach Ditka's imagination and daring, the defense took on Iron Mike's toughness. Relentless in its pressure, the Bear defense punished opposing quarterbacks. The defense showcased its special kind of destructive artistry with 11 sacks and a Week 9 win over Minnesota. Then proceeded to deliver an encore performance the following week against the Raiders. When the reigning Super Bowl champions tried to intimidate Chicago with their pride and poise, the Bear defense responded by turning the Raiders black and blue. In a 17-6 win, Chicago's pass rush was like a wrecking ball turned loose in the Los Angeles backfield. And number 95, Richard Dent, emerged from the wreckage with four of the Bears' nine sacks. In 1983, Richard Dent was an unknown rookie. Last season, he was a defensive menace quarterbacks tried desperately to avoid. When they double team and I'm one-on-one, -on -one, I expect myself to get to the passer because uh, I take a lot of pride in what I do and I don't feel like one guy should be able to stop me. Very rarely could one man stop Dent in 1984. And opposing offenses didn't find much security in numbers either. Number 95 tossed aside all obstacles on his way to leading the NFC with 17 and a half sacks. But like all great pass rushes, the success of one individual is the result of the efforts of others. All pro Dan Hampton, Steve McMichael, Mike Hartenstein, Henry Wachter, and Tyrone Keyes joined Dent in a quarterback's nightmare. the defense recorded an NFL record 72 quarterback sacks. And the line wasn't the only unit dealing out the punishment. Whatever the situation dictates, whatever it takes to put pressure on the quarterback, we'll bring them. We blitz just like uh, when you got a headache and you need, need aspirin. You do it as much as you have to to get the job done. Blitzing defensive backs and linebackers left many quarterbacks in dire need of a couple of extra strength pain relievers. Chicago's sack total was impressive, but sacks weren't the defense's number one priority. We want to be aggressive, we want to be tough, and we want to attack people. You got to get back there, get your hands in his face, uh, make the guy think about uh, the pressure that you're putting on it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you got to sack him every time. The constant pressure by the Bear pass rush rewrote more than one quarterback's script. As most passers were forced to seek survival rather than completions. Cashing in on the signal caller's dilemma were defensive backs Leslie Frazier, number 21, Gary Fensick, Mike Richardson, Dave Burerson, and Todd Bell, one of five Bear Pro Bowl picks. 
1984, the Bears fielded pro football's top defense, and their valedictorian status was earned by spending a lot of time in the classroom. And if he comes out Chicago's ball, defense not only hit tank, hard, it studied right. hard under defensive coordinator Buddy Ryan. If 46 blitz is called on second down. I think a brain and a player is as good on defense as it is on offense, so we want to give them the opportunity to use that great power that they have. We've got some great athletes on this defense, but at the same time, we've really got great strategy. When we come out to play, uh, not only do we have good people in good position, but we have people that can think in those positions. And, and when you've got a mixture of that, uh, I think something good's got to happen. Left! Slip left! <laughs> Although we are very physical at times, uh, the high-tech monsters of the midway defense, that sounds pretty much what we like to uh, be called in the, here in 1984. These rugged scholars also proved their genius in defending against the run led by linebackers Mike Singletary, number 50. Otis Wilson, number 55. And Al Harris, number 90. The Bears were the league's toughest team to run on. Taking a handoff against Chicago was like grabbing hold of a hornet's nest because it was only a matter of time before a running back got stung. While offensive excitement is a new joy for Bear fans, the defense remained a fierce constant in keeping with the team's proud past. The trademark of the Bear defense has always been to play aggressive, uh, aggressive and smart and hopefully we're holding up to that tradition. <laughs>